I'm Spencer Linton. That is Jerem Jordan. And joining us now on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline, the third national champion we are featuring on the show. She's won two over the last week. Her name is Courtney Wayment on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Courtney, congratulations yeah. on an unbelievable championship run, both as a team yeah. and individual. In fact, um, I think we can work out a space on the We've desk here. If, if you, you, if you if want to display one of your it. trophies, yeah, you if know, you need it, just let, let us, us know. know, okay? Yeah, the next time I come around, I'll just <laughs> I'll give them off to you guys. You just put them right there, front and center. Hey, Guard Young let me borrow a silver medal from the Olympics one time, so I, I think that <laughs> this could be a real possibility. No, but seriously, congratulations. You win two national championships. So first, let's talk about the first one, the distance medley relay. You guys at, have been really good for a long time, and then to win the national championship, what did that mean, and what was it like? Yeah, it was so just – it's an indescribable feeling, and it's really incredible. And, you know, the distance medley relay is – that was an incredible team to be a part of because it was more than just our team this year. You know, we had Lauren and Elena who were on the team last year that – unfortunately didn't get to compete at nationals because of COVID. And, um, you know, it's just, it's more than just like this team here right now. And it was just an incredible thing. And it's, it's very, it's hard to put into words, but it was, that was a special team. And I am just like so proud to be a part of that team. I want to know what's going through your mind in a high pressure race like this when you know you're so close to a national championship. Your team had obviously been so good all season long, but then this is the one that really counts. So what was your mentality personally going into this race? Um, personally going to this race, I was just so nervous. I'm not a person that typically gets crazy nerves. I think nerves are normal, but like this one was like overwhelming nerves just because I knew we had the opportunity to do something great. And I loved being the mile leg, but it is really hard just sitting there watching three women go before you and just <laughs> watch their amazing things. And I'm like, oh man, I really better not screw it up because I just watched them do amazing and so it's definitely very nerve-wracking but like before the race um all four of us sat together and we just talked and we let out our nerves and maybe our fears and then we all decided that it doesn't none of that matters we're just gonna do our best and we all wanted to walk away no matter if we won or if we didn't just walk away knowing that we all gave our best efforts for each other and that was once we made that the goal it was it was pretty fun it just became fun so it was good and did you were the one to cross the finish line right yeah so when you cross the finish line are you are you like what's the feeling like because i imagine you're like super tired but you're also like oh my gosh we just won the national championship and oh my gosh i can see the time and we just set the school record what's that moment like uh that was a wild moment i crossed the finish line just yelling yes and i don't know why that was what came out but that was what came out and i just turned and they were all right there waiting and i just had to just go give them just the biggest hug so it was a really cool moment i didn't realize like it didn't process in my mind while i was racing until probably the last 50 meters that i was like oh my gosh we're winning and then once I crossed, I was like, oh, man, we just we just did it. I don't know. <laughs> so it was cool. And the sixth fastest in NCAA history. Wild. I mean, that's notable, too. Yeah, it was it was really cool. I didn't even look at the time. I didn't I time all of those things went out of my mind. I was like, I just need to find my teammates and coach Taylor. I'm just happy. So it was but it was really cool. I was very proud of us. Does your face hurt from smiling over the past, uh, I don't know, 96 hours? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. But... <laughs> Is it Toy Story 2 or 3? Like Barbie at the end just gets like, oh, my gosh, I can't smile anymore. <laughs> All right, Courtney. Uh, if the distance medley relay in a record time and a national championship weren't enough, then you had to go and show off in the 3,000 meter, which is just wild. You win a second national title there. How are you not? A, totally exhausted when when you get to that race and, and emotionally exhausted for that matter. Yeah, I mean, um, the one awesome thing about Coach Taylor and our team is we go to nationals knowing that we have done every little thing to be prepared. So when you get to the line, it's not 
Um, I mean, you're nervous and you're excited and a lot of emotions are going through you, but you're just determined. And I can, you know, say that for every one of us women's distance that race this weekend, either at cross country or indoor, you're just coach Taylor has prepared us for that day. So when you line up to the, when you get up to the line, it's, there's not even a worry or a doubt. You're just like, okay, I've done everything. And so I'll just do my best and my best is good enough. So it's, yeah, you're not as much emotionally or physically taxed just because we've been prepared for it. So it, it was cool. Courtney, congratulations again on multiple national championships. You deserve to smile, okay? No, I'm sure those those muscles are going to be exercised for a lot longer after this conversation, but let, let that smile shine because everybody's feeling the same thing as you are. Congratulations. Thank you guys so much. I so appreciate it. You got it. Courtney Wayman on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Deseret First, you know why we show how. The, uh, 